Hey, what's up everyone? So I recently purchased a remote pie board from MSLDigital.com. Um, what is a remote pie board? A remote pie board is an infrared atom board that connects to a Raspberry Pi and allows you to power on or off the Raspberry Pi with mostly any remote control. It is convenient because you don't have to keep getting up to disconnect or connect the power adapter in order to power on or off the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up and show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what the remote Pi Board 3 looks like. And there's the website where I purchased the Pi Board. So if you're interested in purchasing this uh, this add-on board, you can go to that website. And there's details of pricing and everything. All right, so here's the power button. Let's turn it on and off. Here's the pin holes where you mount it onto the pin board of the Raspberry Pi. There's the infrared and the port for the power adapter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount it onto the Pi right now. And uh, here's uh, the screw here. I already screwed it in there, so it came with the screw. All right, so let's go ahead and mount this. Let's align it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna Fasten the screw in here to secure it. All right, so the next step will be to uh, connect the power into the add-on board. So it's blinking. So now, based on the instructions, I have to hold this power button there for seven seconds to program it with the remote. So in this case, I'm using a Samsung remote, all right? So I'm gonna point it into the infrared here and hold it for seven seconds. And the light should start blinking uh, green and red. All right, so it's ready to be programmed. All right, so I'm gonna press it one time so that green light should turn on. So that's for the on. Now again, and that's for off. So right now, so all right, so it's programmed now. And as you can see, the light is illuminated red. So now if I press the button, the Raspberry Pi should power it on. So let's go ahead and press it. Yep. Okay. And let's, uh, let's look at here. Perfect. It's booting up to the operating system. All right, and let's see here. Perfect. So, to, if you want to control the, um, if you want to use your own remote to control the Kodi or the, you know, OSMC, you will have to go into the remote settings for the OSMC, and there you just find the remote. Um, you know, if you have a Samsung remote, they should have a, an option there for different types of remote where you can configure it and control it and, uh, yeah that should be it and actually let me just turn it off here and it's going to show you let's just press the power button again turn it off the light's going to blink red and it should shut down there we go it's shining down And that should be it. Thanks for watching.